Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the D1 problem from the August Lead Coding Challenge Detect Capital. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Given a word, you need to judge whether the usage of capitals in it is right or not. We define the usage of capitals in a word to be right when one of the following cases hold. All the letters are capital like in USA or all the letters in the word lead code are not capitals or only the first letter in the word Google is capital. In all other cases, we define that this word doesn't use the capital in right way. For the example 1 and 2 given, we can see that USA is all caps and so we return true while the word flag does not satisfy the condition so we must return false. So as the question states, there can be following three cases. All the characters in the word are uppercase, all the characters in the word are lowercase or it's a camel case where only the first character is uppercase and all the others are lowercase. We can easily convert these three cases into conditional statements if we know the count of uppercase characters and the length of word. Using this, the algorithm will look as follows. We initialize a count variable to store the count of all the uppercase characters and loop through each character in the word and update the count. Once we have the count, we can apply the three cases. If the count of uppercase letter is equal to the length of word or if the count is zero, we return true as it confirms that the word contains all uppercase or lowercase characters. If it is neither of these two, we return if the first letter in the word is uppercase and the count of uppercase letter is also one, which would mean only the first letter is uppercase. Here is the actual code snippet for the method. Rather than writing the loop, we can use the regular expression that will internally check the characters. This will reduce the code to a one-liner code. For all the three cases, the regular expression can be written as follows. We can combine these three into one single pattern that will look like this. Now that we know the regex, we just need to return if the word matches the regex. The time complexity for both the approaches is O of n while the space complexity is O of 1. Here's the actual code snippet for this method. You can also check out the link to all the codes in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Also let me know in the comments what you think about the video.